One. One, two, three. That was actually very sick. It's almost like we're <laughs> consummate professionals. That was and sick. I think I used that word correctly. Cons consummate? Consummate. Are we, uh, we're, we're consummating this relationship? Is that not what the word is? Uh, that, that word means <laughs> some things. We have the internet. You can co you can consummate a, uh, a wedding, well, not a wedding, a marriage after they Consummate bone. professional. C-O-N-S-U-M-M-A-T-E. A consummate professional. What does consummate in traditions... The statues of civil or religious law, the consummation of... Oh, that's your thing. But <laughs> it's on TV tropes. A character who is characterized by his or her intense professionalism and intolerance of the lack thereof of others. That's Ooh. definitely me, if anyone. I don't know if this it's... This doesn't have like a knife you. Why are... We have an intro to the show. Like, this is the first episode. Guys, welcome <laughs> to Mike Check. Hello. The Hawk Chicago. I don't, I don't drink wine. Reset. Hold on. That was, that was terrible. Hold on. Wait, wait, ready? Hold on. <laughs> What is up, guys, and welcome to Mike Check. Remember, always keep the conversation open. My name is Mike Knowles, your host. That's I don't know how I want to do this. I don't know. I should have thought about this. I had all I had all day. I had weeks to think about this. You can just keep doing what you're doing. I'm just gonna Okay, cool. I'm just gonna keep doing intros until I figure out how I like it. Hello it and welcome to Mike Check. I'm your host, Mike Knowles. Make sure to always keep the conversation going down there in the comments. Hey, guys, my guest for today, Hi, I'm Shane, Shane Dolan. Dolan. Ooh. Double lit up. Double the, the double D. Did you want to smell this? I I don't really care okay. to be honest. Cool. I'm gonna. I appreciate the offer mm -hmm. definitely. Um, so why is this part of the bit you have? Or are you just drinking wine while we're having? Well, you see, uh, today after work, I uh, I stopped by this. Shit! Little, I forgot my water. Keep talking. <laughs> I, I stopped by this little known um, grocery store called uh, uh, called oh, Trader's like Joe. Well, I stopped by this little old shop called uh, Trader Joe's, and I picked up this wine, and as it said um, on its branding, that it would be very good with uh, some stuffed peppers, but um, I don't own the things to make a stuffed pepper, but I bought a pepper. Oh, God, fuck. So hopefully it just works well with it. Well. Is well. this, is, are you trying to do the lettuce bit I came up with yesterday? Where a person says how delicious lettuce is, like, it's like, oh, the lettuce, the crunchiest of vegetables, and then he just eats the head of the lettuce, instead of, like, peeling it and, like, putting it on something. Is that what you're doing right now? Are you just trying to steal my bit, and just reinvent it as your own bit? Is that actually what's going on? <laughs> Motherfucker, I was making a joke, but you're actually doing it. God damn it. You're not good. I don't like wine, why did I do this? You're a great fucking guest, Shane. God damn it. Um... <laughs> Like, I thought you would appreciate it. I guess imitation is a serious form of flattery or consummation. I don't know which. <laughs> it's definitely the consummation one. We have topics. I guess. We have topics? You're not really famous, so I can't interview you. Like, I plan on doing other guests. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not famous I mean, at all. <laughs> you're, you're not. Um, no. But, I mean, you're, you're doing some cool. Well, I guess I guess we can talk a little bit about you, though, still. Like, you do you do some things. What what? Who are you? I'm Shane Dolan. I'm an editor. So we like, already said that. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just giving them a rundown. Okay, do it again. I'm an editor slash content Wait, creator. Wait, who are you? Shane Dolan. My name is Shane Dolan. Um, other people like to call me a Sarge Dog on the internet. They don't. They don't really call me that. I've been trying. Isn't I've been, it technically Sarge Dog because it's a zero, not an O? It is. It is a zero, but um, that's because I couldn't get the gamer tag with a zero, with an O. But right, oh, so yeah. shouldn't it be pronounced Sarge Dog instead of Sarge Dog? Ah, not, not well, Sarge was it's my dog, so it's Sarge Dog. Okay. Anyway, what are you what are you doing out here? Um, Aside from like living in my room, living in your room, yeah. I would like to consider it my room. I would like to consider it um, my room that you happen to be in. <laughs> I'm interning at uh, this little show called Legion. Um, oh, is that that's a that's DC? It's a DC thing. No, you, you see, I I work for a, um, a a better public. Wait, but I thought Marvel doesn't make good TV shows. Well, they do if it's on FX. Okay, <laughs> actually, and it's not actually oversaw by Marvel. I mean, like I enjoy all. Oh, I enjoy uh, listen, I enjoy like, Ages of Shield too, but I'm never gonna say Ages of Shield is a good show. I'm never gonna say that. Oh well, I'm just not gonna say things so I have better job opportunities later. Uh, and even the people on Ages of Shield admit the show's bad because they don't get the proper resources. No, they don't, because the uh their their timelines and uh all their stories get messed up because of the movies. They yeah, don't, because they, they don't, don't give the, them anyone. They no. gave them one guest appearance in the first season, and then you, everyone was like, Yes, this is what the show's supposed to be. And then they didn't do anything except for the season finale where Winter Soldier happened and it redefined their whole world because like that's what happens when Shield becomes Hydra. That's why I stopped um, liking that show. I mean, and now that Disney owns the X Men and, and your, mutants, your uncle. Well, no, he doesn't. 
Um, <laughs> now that they, uh, n- now you gotta like, you got hold on, you got like, you got like really like, like I thought that was a good joke, like setting up, and you just like, you just like, nope the fuck out of that one. Yeah, I'm not talking about that. All right. <laughs> um, but now that they, uh, now that they own, uh. Fox and well, will be owning Fox within the next year. Well, FX division, right? Because because Fox, mm-hmm. the company, is just staying the broadcast, right? Yes. So yeah, Fox is uh, gonna keep all their broadcast stuff, and then they're gonna sell off all of their movie and like right. entertainment. Uh, but they're things. keeping the Fox Broadcasting Company as the Fox Broadcasting Company that handles the news and stuff, correct? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, yeah. To my to my knowledge, well, I could my be point wrong. is they're keeping the IP name Fox Broadcasting. Yes. Is what I'm, what I'm yes, saying. like yeah. uh, it. And it's to avoid those like problems that like AT and T has with like trying to buy a t- Time Warner. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's why I was actually curious because if they're not, I think that would be like really. Stupid. I mean, like I it's kind of getting scary. The uh, how basically six major like uh, six major media companies own the entire. Oh, it's already like, it's been industry. scary forever. Well, yeah, no, that in itself is scary, but it's now scary that. Th- it's going to probably shrink down to three. I mean, the thing is, it's like the gun problem. It's like, it's a problem when it's news and the second something else comes up, it's not a problem. So we see it again. It's, it's always been a problem. Mm-hmm. It's never not a problem. It's just like, okay, we're going to talk about it now. And then when we fail to do anything about it, we'll forget about that. It's a problem until it becomes a problem again. You know, Lionsgate's throwing out, like it's trying to sell. Yeah. That's a thing happening. Yeah. Hasbro almost bought them. And then they're like, no, we're worth more money. No, please don't Hasbro buy anything. Yeah. They already bought Wizards of the Coast and Magic the Gathering hasn't been good sense or as good hmm. is wizard of the coast one of the magic the gathering uh expansions no wizards of the coast is is the company that makes magic gathering and dungeons oh and okay all right yeah uh dungeons magic and something else i mean did hasbro like help make the battleship movie because that should yeah. have never happened yeah <laughs> yeah i was waiting for monopoly <laughs> or sorry you say that but i remember reading an article saying there was one in the works <laughs> and it was a while ago so hopefully it just doesn't come out they'll just get one of the people that play like the colonel sanders in uh <laughs> in the <laughs> kfc commercial that one of like great. the 12 people so wait you were talking about who you are we got oh off, yeah right? we get off topic who are you yeah i uh, hope people know who i am i mean it's my own channel but like that's anyway. my I'll have uh, to do an episode where I interview myself. That would be really funny. Okay. Uh, we like, can definitely pull it like off. Like, throw a whole... Uh, do, uh, except you wouldn't do, like, the uh, Rooster Teeth drunk me versus regular me, like, talking to each other. Well, I would do... Yeah, I would definitely do, like, one... I would definitely do the interview portion. I would either... I would either just wear the same shirt. I wear, like, a basic color shirt. Like, something mm-hmm. that you, that wouldn't be as obvious that I'm the same thing. Like, I wear, like, just a black t-shirt. It wouldn't be, like, a whole outfit or, like, a striped shirt. We can tell. It'd just be, like, a black shirt... Or, oh, no, I can get a chroma, cre- chroma key green shirt and then change the color. Floating head. And then I just, like, go back floating and forth. Head, no, 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 floating head, No, not floating head. I just keep going back and, like, I just, I keep, I sit on one side, right? And we frame it against a blank background. And then I just reverse it for the other side and change the color on that shot. Hmm. So, I was like, hey, so, like, what do you do? It's like, oh, well, you know, I go to school for this. But it's, that's purple me instead of, like, red That's not me, a bad idea. Right? I'm also realizing you're going to hate editing out my crunching noises. I mean, maybe I just don't. And I make the audience, like, think about having you back on because like I have to deal with it so they have to deal with it yeah so like their pain is my pain now and I feel like it's another anyway who the fuck are you okay yeah so uh I'm currently studying out here in Los Angeles with Temple University just like Mike uh I have an intern wait I go to school yeah I know right it's weird I didn't think you were smart enough for it but apparently he is I intern at I uh, intern with the post-production department at the show Legion um and I basically just do office work stuff I can't really talk about the show, but it's a lot of fun. Sure. Uh, but like, what, what about you as a person? What about me? Um, I mean, I'm weird. Yeah. Uh, I do a show called crafts and crafts that hopefully the first episode will be out. I, I think you believe, I think you mean that I do a show called crafts and crafts. I mean, you're part of it. Yeah. Mike's the one of the producers. <laughs> well, no, it's my show. room and it's my show and it's you're oh, just there. Well, right. Yeah. Def. <laughs> That's exactly how this works. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. I I get drunk in front of cameras. This one actually, and uh, actually, mine or, was the wide shot. Yes, yeah. Yours was that yours was, was that was the yeah. close up. Yeah, well, because we determined that uh, your we wanted the T five I as the wide shot yes. because that was the better sensor. Mm-hmm. Because you know, yeah. You. But basically, I get dr- I get drunk and then I try and do crafts. And it turns into this mess of a thing that I find funny, and I hope other people find funny. Uh, I also just edit for other people's short films and uh, make my own things. There's Vimeo. I do Twitch sometimes, but not while I'm here because there's sh- really yeah, shitty. Yeah, this internet. internet is so garbage. I bet there's a lot of people wondering why there's like not content, and this is the first thing we did, and it's like, 
Uh, oh, yeah, because the internet is shite. I want a flat wall that I can hang posters and shit up on. Not like this shit. Hey, the mic's in front of you, dumbass. I'm talking, I'm talking you like this. You were talking right at the wall. You were like, oh, hey, look at this wall here. Look at that. Hey, do you hear me, wall? Oh, I bet the wall hears me. It hears me so well that it's going to tell Mike the microphone to hear this. Hey, how Mike, I sound. How you doing? Because it's a fucking Hi, wall. Audience. So that's what you do. Hey, we have topics to talk about. We have topics. What are uh, the topics, Mike? What, well, what are I, the topics, I, Mike? I, is that a reference? I, no, it's just... I thought you needed God, a drink. You're getting wine drunk way too fast. <laughs> I'm actually not drunk at all, but I'm just I was, bitten, you know, I was bitten trying to give, hard. I was trying to give you an out, and okay, he's back to pepper. All right. So, um, my my topic. You're you're kind of a comic book guy. I like comics. You yeah. you, you you dabble in the occasional hero of sorts. Mm-hmm. It's a it's not a nerd thing anymore. Mm-mm. It's it's a thing. I'm like a t- I'm not a person that knows everything about comics and right. I'll never say that I know but you're, everything. But you're definitely a fan. I am a comics. fan and like I, I pay attention at least a little bit. I know more than the average person. I Most of my friends use me as a liaison between ultra like comic book fans and regular people. Yeah, so I talk to like both of them and that's how it's always kind of been. So I've always known a little bit about stuff but not a lot. Yeah. I've fallen off a lot now and I but really want to I would argue more. you're more of a comic fan than some of the diehard people because you actually enjoy more than just like Superhero comics. Like you enjoy comics. Yeah. Like as, as oh, a I love platform. comics. Yeah. Like you enjoy like Scott Pilgrim and like which I just read all six volumes. Of the right. Movie. Like you you great. enjoy or, I mean, comics a stretch. I I would go to say the most comics these days are actual graphic novels. Mm-hmm. Like more more so. Well, but I mean like I grew up reading Sunday morning card like comics. Oh yes. Yeah, like, my uh my dad would just hand me the funnies and I would just read them. And oh my dad would would toss them aside and then I would pick them up. Mm-hmm. Uh, and my brother got me into uh, Calvin and Hobbes, so I've read through all, like all of the Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, I want to reread th- those because I was too young when I was reading it, mm-hmm. and there's a lot of adult jokes within it. And then uh, I want to also go back through the Peanuts. God, I love that. I do. I peanuts read. Are great. I read. I've probably read every Peanuts. Like I would check out every copy of Peanuts the library would have. Uh, I was such a loser in middle school that I got my homework done like so easily that like I would use my study hall to just take my like the study hall teacher would always have the newspaper in, and I would just like read all the comics and then do the Sudoku. That was, that was just 40 minutes of my day, Monday through Friday. It's That's not even awesome. a joke. It's just my th- no, I mean, I love that. I, I just do all the time. No, I know you do. I know you do. I know there's people like, out there, though, who are listening who are like, this fucking No, you got to keep your mind active. I'll, like, play that, Minesweeper, and then, I mean, even Solitaire. Um, comics is, is yes. or comic book heroes. Fuck with me, any of It's a thing now. It's, everyone knows about them. Actually, you know what? I'm going to double back on that. Apparently, they don't. I've been reading articles and seeing social media posts from people who have just only seen Black Panther because Black Panther engages with an African-American audience like a show because it does a really good job of doing that. Uh, and there's just people who went and saw this movie who didn't know Marvel was, like, a thing. Like, they don't know, like... Like, they have posts and, like, who's this Captain America? Like, they don't understand, like, the, like, the, the in and out points because they only seen Black Panther. And it's it's one thing if you only seen Black Panther, which mm-hmm. I get. But there are people who legitimately don't know there's other movies out there that are connected to Black Panther. No, that's a lot of people. Most of the, most of the audience that sees... Uh Marvel movies actually don't know that they are all, all intertwined, but they but have, but they also haven't seen other Marvel movies. Is, yeah, that's weird. Because like, it's been such a sensation for ten years. You can go to Marvel movies and just be really dumb and not like and realize it's all Avengers that they're connected mm-hmm. because like the connection points are, are pretty weak. Um, like obviously, if you go see Thor three, you you if you just went and saw Thor three after seeing Civil War, you wouldn't necessarily think they're connected. Like obviously, yeah. but like no, like they, like they just they don't even know that there's like a cinematic universe of Marvel films. It's so much fun. Like they, they, they just came in process. Like these people have at least hor- like I love. Like, have that, you heard of like Star Wars? Like you've heard of like Star Wars or Lord of the Rings? Like movies can connect. This isn't a new concept. It's like, aggravating, but it's also brilliant because like the they're babies. They don't know about this wonderful world. They go and see this movie and they they're like, I really enjoyed that. And then you just go to go like. There are 12 other films that you can enjoy. I don't know how many there are, but there, like, there's a two, lot. There's a lot, yeah. I actually want to look that up. But, you know, but, like, how do you not, like, there's so much marketing in these things these days. Like, how do you not know? How do you not know? I I don't know. It, it's kind of weird. Like, we also, I mean, I don't know if you had this experience. I always liked comics as, like, as a kid growing up. Ever since so, the first exposure I had, but I, I wasn't exposed. People in my family didn't enjoy comics. Oh, my so brother like, was a big nerd, and I, I loved that, and he helped me become a nerd. Right, so for me, it was like, I was once I got it, but even when I got it, I didn't have a lot of access, because, like, I'm just kind of, I'm just living in the middle of bumblefuck. Yeah. And no one cares. I got to, I got, since I was exposed to comics, I liked them, and then the movies started coming out, and the first, like, I, it was fantastic, f- actually, it was Spider-Man first, then it was Fantastic Four. 
I remember not liking the first Spider-Man movie. Even as a kid, I didn't like that movie. Like, I just, I don't like Tobey Maguire. So that, that could be like, people can hate me on that, but that's my opinion. But once the X-Men comics started coming out, I loved the X-Men comics. Like, and X-Men Evolution was like one of my favorite shows growing up. I just, uh, I like the idea of the X gene and how mutations continuously grow us, uh, grow us as human beings. And I already had that knowledge, so once the movies started being made, I kept going deeper and deeper and deeper into the movies and enjoying it more and more. And it was just, I lucked out that that became a cool thing. Like, I was going to be one of those nerds that was into it anyway. But then movies became cool. 19 films. There's 19. Infinity War will be the what? next. There's 18. There are... Infinity War will be 19. Oh my god. It actually really sucks. They, they really should have just moved up a movie and made Infinity War 20. Because it would, like, well, think of the marketing, like, the 20th. Well, Infinity War is wait, 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 hold on, hold on. So, like, here's, here's the marketing. Close, close in on me here, right? I don't know why I'm talking to the camera. I'm just going to be like editing it. The 20th film in the MCU franchise, Kevin and Feige's biggest blowout. Come see it now. Come. That was a little too sexual, but, I mean, sex sells, so. Have you seen Captain America Winter Soldier when he's, like, grabbing onto the helicopter and he's just showing that flex off? He's a beautiful man. That that's that is. Why do superheroes that's have to be beautiful? That's Winter Soldier, right? Or is it Civil War actually? That was, that was Civil War. That was Win- no, that's Winter Soldier. Is it Winter Soldier? That's okay. Winter Soldier. Uh, Civil War is not that. Um, I love Winter Soldier. So that means top three Marvel films. Top three Marvel yeah. films. Uh, within the MCU. MCU, yeah, yeah, not not counting X Men. Um, Avengers one, uh, Spider Man Homecoming, uh, because it's the best Spider Man that we had so far, and it's just an enjoyable film. Uh, they're doing a lot of things right. That I'm, Wait, have you I'm seen the off. masterpiece that is Spider-Man 3? Spider-Man, no! In uh, actuality, I really like the original Spider-Man trilogy. The third I one's definitely them. the worst. But but I will agree that Homecoming is the best adaptation of any comic book, I think. I mean, it's, the, it's the best source material to screen adaptation. I don't know. Uh, but I, I think it's, it's a mixture. story... I it's think its story is weaker in the sense that, like, it need it doesn't make... Like, I'm glad they skipped the whole origin story thing. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying it needed an origin mm-hmm. story. But I feel like the story is still leaning on too much, the events of the universe. Like, the way he feels about himself is too much influenced by the world around him. Dude, he was the kid in uh, in Iron Man 2. Yeah. Yeah, so of course he's going to be affected by the, uh, by the no, universe no, no, that's no. happening. Right no, now. my point is, like, his opinions on himself and on oh, being okay. a hero and stuff like that... Like that's, that's all built upon this universe instead of like so like if you if like if you just went and watched it if you were like one of these Black Panther people you just went and watched Homecoming right because it's a Spider Man movie you'd be like I don't understand you wouldn't be, I feel like you wouldn't be able to connect with the character because like I don't understand why you feel that way like because mm-hmm. you're you know you're not see you're not you didn't actively see all these outside forces that are acting okay on yeah it. I get that that's that's just my point but yeah. I think I think it's by far the greatest adaptation of a superhero uh like original IP to the screen oh like yeah I just it was something that I went and. Literally, I saw it by myself because uh, I asked you to go. I think I was doing something then the first time uh, when when you asked. I don't know, but like I saw it by myself and I enjoy. I sat there and I enjoyed it. I got to geek out in front of a bunch of strangers and it didn't matter. Um, then I guess my third uh, my third choice would be. I think it would probably be Guardians of the Galaxy because that was a that was that was the first Marvel movie I saw that like I really didn't know much about besides Thor. Like, I didn't really know much. Does anyone really even know what Thor's about, like, even after we've seen them? Do you even know what Thor's about? No. Okay. But, like, no one ever really knows what Thor's about. So. Right, That's that was that was the joke. Thank yeah. you for explaining the joke. I mean, no, I'm saying even in the comics, like... Thank you for explaining the yeah, joke. Sorry. I'm um, going to set the camera real quick. Okay. Hopefully it didn't stop. We're going to pause. Do, 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 oh. do, do. <laughs> Take too, you take everything too seriously, man. You gotta I, calm down. It's first. not that I take it too seriously. It's this shit happens all the time. All the time. I think I just leaked across the table. As I was saying, <laughs> Jack, if you're watching, because you probably are, you know firsthand, this shit happens to me all the time. I don't even know how we're going to edit this. I don't even know how I'm going to edit this. It is, I don't even know. So let's go back to talking about movies. We, didn't, we lost like fucking... 16 minutes of your footage. How did you not open up the aperture? How did you not? Like, come on. I don't even think of it. I'm not a GP at all. 
I don't work with But cameras. it's a base. It's there's three things on your fucking camera. It's your shutter speed, it's your aperture, and it's your ISO. Yes, and I remember two out of those three. 66% better than That's half. That's failing! That is failing! <laughs> oh my fucking god. I don't even know if I can even say how my three favorite Marvel films are, because I'm never going to use that. I don't know where I'm going to cut this thing apart. When's Crafts and Crafts coming out? Crafts and Crafts should be out um, by the end of this week. It it will be out by the will, end. Will it? It will. Well, I mean, by the, the end of the week, we're, the end of the week we're recording this. I don't actually know when this is gonna go up now. We're I mean, we have, have to, no, like, we have all the audio, so I can. We do, we do. I'm I am gonna make sure we have all the audio still. So yeah, my three favorite Marvel <laughs> films. <laughs> well, yeah, what are your three mar- favorite Marvel films, Mike? Winter Soldier is my favorite by far. Yeah, that's you keep telling me that. That's also it's the, the one best. that like I never was really that. So interested many people in. hate on this movie. It's so divided. You either love that movie or you hate that movie. I but was just like, it was okay. It's the best standalone movie. It's 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 not even a good superhero movie. It's just a good thriller. Like it's a good spy thriller movie. I guess I've never been into the spy movies. That's like you can it. like you can rewrite everything, right? You use like Captain America, Steve Steve Bowman. I don't know. Not Rogers. Fuck that last name. Came up with that last name. Um, probably Stanley and someone really close to him. Actually, uh, the Stanley didn't create. I know he didn't create. It was a joke. Yeah. Okay, Shane, we're not. Sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, like you just rewrite all the characters and you, you write out like, oh, the supercomputer was someone I knew, and you just make it like I don't know someone. Yeah, I thought that was cheesy. That it was because it was an MCU thing, mm-hmm. but like, but like you just rewrite that to be like slightly different. You, just, you make all the changes to remove the MCU stuff, and it's still a great plot and a great execution on that plot. Like, I just, just like, oh, I need to rewatch it. I literally, I saw it in theaters and never rewatched it, so I should just rewatch it and see. Like, yeah, I will rewatch that movie with you. I, how long? Number ago? two. Okay, Spider Man Homecoming. Okay, yeah, so yeah. both of us are number two. Is just Spider Man yeah. Homecoming. Spider Man Homecoming. It's definitely not the best film, but I have to give it number two just because of the fact <sighs> that like. I have to give you number two just because it's again the best adaptation. Again, like I already explained what I think my flaws are in the movie. Yeah. But aside from that, it's the best adaptation across both Marvel DC. It probably sets up the Sinister Six, unlike the other movies, which at least yeah. it, like if that's something they're gonna do, which who knows. I would assume that I mean they haven't br- brought in Osborne yet, which is a very good idea. Yeah. Well, they're I think they're, they're holding to, them all. I think they were trying to hold for getting the X Men and the Fantastic Four rights because oh. he intercrosses with them. And yeah, but I, I honestly don't think the X Men and Fantastic Four are gonna come and come into the, uh, not this phase. I think the next phase. Next, I, next phase. I, the next universe. Next phase. No, next I phase. mean, maybe it's the universe reset, sure, but next phase. I mean, I po- post. I don't post Infinity War. I don't want them to introduce the X Men or Fantastic Four un- until they do uh, until they redo the universe. No, I think they can one. fit it into the same universe. I think it's really. I they don't think it's as hard as you think it is. I think it's pretty simple because because we're already led to believe that there was a guy just swinging around New York that we never heard of the whole time. It's not that hard to believe that there was just like yeah, but he's sixteen. Yeah, but it's not that hard to believe that there were like mutants going on top secret like MI six missions basically all over the world, especially because there are specifically hidden. Yeah, but the the type of missions that they would be doing would be something that like the Avengers and in, like Avengers Initiative that type of big deal. They would have had to have some type of effect during those time periods. But but we just say those events didn't happen yet. We, we you just changed the timeline. As also, they completely wrote out Magneto. You can't write out Magneto. If, if but bringing, how do they write out Magneto? What do you mean? Because Scarlet Witch and uh and Scarlet Witch and uh and uh, and the um, yeah. What about them? Yeah, they they're bo- they wrote them in as they're like they're just extra. They're like special, uh, special kids, and that they. Uh, but then, but then you, but and that they, like, they got their powers through, uh, through like scientific experiments. But the scientific experiment could just be triggering the mutant gene. Is all it is. Like there's really easy ways. Like you forget, comic books are already so much assertism that there's there's really easy ways to do this. And I, I mean, that's a whole nother podcast. I know, I'm just like, I, I don't I don't know if I'd like that because. And I know I'm not saying it'd be great, but I expect them to do it because of money. I think like, it's definitely me being defensive over X Men. Sure, because I still don't believe that we have a good adaptation of any X Men. Uh, Are you X-Men saying X Three wasn't a good movie? You know they're you know they're making a Dark Phoenix another Dark Phoenix saga. Yeah, movie. I'm very well aware. They sh- really shouldn't. Well, they won't. Apocalypse hopefully they won't wasn't be, good. Hopefully they won't be now. Why? Now that Disney owns the. No, they will be. They already sh- they have already been shooting. It. Did they already start shooting? I, yeah, that was still there's a, there's already uh there's already like. Pictures and stuff. Oh, see, from... this is how little I follow X Men in the movie verse. Yeah, no. Um, 
I'm not too happy about it. They did the same mistake as they did what? in the uh, did in the fir- uh, did in the first franchise. OP character, and you can't bring them. In, you can't bring them in way too early into the, into the universe. Just like how they brought in Silver Surfer in the second Fantastic Four movie, right? <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, we're getting really off topic. I don't even know. This topic's just kind of devolved into. I guess the topic now is just that, like, everything goes wrong. Maybe that's just the topic. And now this is how everything goes wrong in the Marvel universe. You know what? Movie number three! Oh, okay. Yeah, you have a third one. I was going to talk Iron about Man. something. Oh, yeah. It's the start of everything good. Yep. Iron Man. I, it's I, just a good movie. Once again, like, that's my thing. Like, my thing is, like, my favorite Marvel films are just good movies. I'm not going to argue against that. I like, I like Iron Man. Rewatched I mean, it now, recently. I, I mean, it. obviously, there's a little bit of. Dialogue issues mm-hmm. like Tony, look at my Mac, Tony. Tony, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just always imagine as the dude. <laughs> oh, Tony, the great Tony. Imagine just Tony the Tigers in the Iron Man suit. <laughs> Repulsor we- gauntlets, there. <laughs> Um, speaking of, uh, of sad things. Wait, speaking comments. of, I need to check this camera because it's been 10 minutes. Got it. Do not concern yourselves. Hey, you got a topic. Yeah, I brought a topic. You brought a topic. Um, I don't even know what it is now because like, you never texted me what it was. No, I didn't. Bad uh, guess. I, I texted you some stuff that I thought we were going to talk about, uh, that I thought I was going to talk about, but then I found about the, out about this other thing. Uh, so speaking of comics and people within like the realm of comics, uh, Hey, wait, did you ever say what you actually do? Yeah. On your internship? I just do office work, basically. Okay. I, but you're like, some, sometimes you're I on the post-production team, right? Yeah, I do. This uh, is lame. I'm going to cut yeah, this no, I talk. Anyway, what's your topic? <laughs> My topic is about someone within the comic Hey, Shane, wasn't that really well cut? It's almost like I cut out some stuff. Yeah, it was kind of hot. Yeah. Not, like, I felt like... Hey, what's your topic? time shift. Um... You know, Kevin Smith almost died two days ago? Yeah. Oh, my God. He, I... Well, see, here's the thing. For me, I... I read it when the update came out because I was, I was out. So like it happened. I missed when it happened and I didn't see the news article until it was like update. Kevin Smith is okay. Survives heart attack. And I was like, whoa, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. So this is two days after this hap- uh, happened. Stop I found out to- dating my podcast. I found out today and I had no idea because I just haven't, what? I haven't gone on the Instagram We've or anything. Busy. Like, yeah. I've just been busy. If he would have died without me knowing, I would have been real upset because I fucking love Kevin Smith. Um, but like that's it's crazy. He was shooting his he was shooting his comedy his next comedy special, which yeah. I'm like, super excited to see. But like before the second showing happened, he was like he was throwing up and like bad things were happening. And they're like, you're gonna go to the hospital, and he had a major a hundred percent clog in one of his arteries. Yeah, it, that's it's, fucking insane. If people are thinking that he termed it himself, like it's like oh it's the widowmaker. People are like why would you call it that? Like, that's what it's called. That's this is a real call. There's some people who are like why would you call it that? Like stop. I know you're a comedian. Stop making jokes. Like it's not a joke. It's called. It's literally called the Widowmaker. Like, yeah. I, like it's, it's a thing. Dude, death is fucked up. Yeah. It just stops. Uh, so, the, uh, he was talking about that. and how He's that, pissed off a lot of people who believe in religion. Eh. Um, so, he was he was talking about how he, uh, how he like, thought that by the time that happened, he wouldn't have felt, you know, like, accomplished, completed, and everything. But when all said and done, he felt calm because of all the things that he's done in his life is more than he's ever asked for. And he no longer scared of his biggest fear. I thought that was super inspirational. I'm scared of heights. I'm still not going to jump out of a plane. I'm scared of spiders and snakes. And snakes? I mean, yeah. those are rational fears. The snakes weird... move in odd ways. So the way... Yeah, right? <laughs> right? They're not you, natural. You, you, you can never know how fast they're going to go because you don't understand how that Do movement works. Sna- I've seen snakes, when they want to go fast, they're running. Wait, that's it's what I'm jumping saying. sideways. That's what I'm it's, saying. It's weird. And the weird thing is, I vividly remember, I went to like a, a, like a private preschool. Mm-hmm. Or a private kind it was kindergarten. A private kindergarten. Um, because I was at I was I went to kindergarten and then I went to a different when my parents realized I wasn't going to go to Catholic school, uh and I went to like an actual different school district, I was now in a different age bracket. Okay. Where I now had to I was I wasn't old enough for first grade yet. Mm-hmm. So I went to a private kindergarten and teach us like French every day, like a French word every day. <laughs> I know we have, no, we have all the audio, so I can... We do. We do. I'm, I'm going to make sure we have all the audio, so... I remember we came in for this, these singers to come in and just sing us kids' songs, and they had a, a cassette tape, if you know what that is out there. Um, and they had a song called Spiders and Snakes about how nice they are, and I can sing it for you. 
I'm part of it, and I'm gonna sing it for you right now. Oh, yes! I'm so excited! This is all I remember. This is this is like it is like I need give me a beat. I need like a Oh. What's the beat? It's in, like dun, Is it a board? Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Spiders and snakes. Spiders and snakes. I'm gonna learn to love them no matter how long it takes. Some people don't like spiders. Some people don't like snakes. But if you do not bother, uh, something, 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 it's like, if you do not bother them, they will not bother you. Everybody now, spiders and snakes, spiders and snakes, I'm gonna learn to love them no matter how long it takes. I really wish you would remember it, because it would have been really cool to hear the fucking joke, you really ruining all the jokes! <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's like, like a whole three band song. It's a whole thing. That's awesome. And, I, and, the, and the tune comes into my head every now and again. I'm like, oh my god, here we go. And you're still afraid of spiders. It didn't help. It didn't help at all. All I know is I remember I watched Harry Potter 2 and I knew they lied to me. I saw the scene in Harry Potter 2 and I'm like, these motherfuckers lied to me. These are not anyone's friend. They were Hagrid's friend. They betrayed him in the seventh movie, spoiler. So they are nobody's friend. They're terrifying. They are. They're absolutely terrifying. Anyway, what were we talking- oh, Kevin Smith, right. Yeah. I mean, we kind of finished it up. Oh, is that all you want to talk about? I mean, yeah, I just wanted to know if you knew that he almost died. So, I mean, now we can still get, uh, James A better Kelly question would have been, Mike, YouTube. do you have access to the internet? And the answer is, well, this podcast is on the internet, so what do you think? Yeah, and, like, I just- I respect him a lot because he's the type of person that I would describe as genuine. He's like, I'm extremely lucky for the stuff that I had. I'm probably not the best person- I'm definitely not the best person in the industry. But I take my opportunities as they come. Kevin Smith is the kind of guy you can just go to a comedy show with. He'll have a fucking heart attack and he'll be like, "Hey, forget about it." <laughs> so you, I heard you have a game for me. So Shane, I don't know if I ever asked this before. So I'm really, I'm really sorry. I should have probably asked this before. Um, you like a comic guy? I don't know if you. Oh, love comics. comics. Yeah. Like, are you sure? Like, I did like, you know about like? There's like, a guy called Superman. And like Batman. I like Batman. There's a guy named Ant Man. I don't know if you know about that one. He's tiny. Okay, so you know comics. Yeah. Great. Okay, so I have. So uh, for those of you who are new to the show, because this is the first show, so you're all new. And if anyone tells you otherwise, they're a dirty liar. So call them out. I like to play a game, I guess. Um, because it's like a talk show, you know. It's kind of like. I feel like I'm gonna be really asked, bad at this game. <laughs> no, it's gonna be a great game. <laughs> I asked. I asked people, and my own brain. To poorly explain their favorite superhero, and I'm gonna give you the explanation, and oh, you're gonna tell me who the superhero is. Okay. Uh, you ready for this? this is gonna be something. All right. The first, the first one I think is pretty easy, just just to get like the mood set. Gets his powers like he's a fucking plant. Like he's a Groot. No. Groot's a plant. Like he's a fucking plant. And I'm quoting. You're sorry for the F word. I'm quoting. Like even though a, I've been. Like he's a fucking. I'll read it again. Gets his powers. Like he's a fucking plant. What? This is gonna be so fucking fun. Gets his powers like he's fu so all I'm thinking of is like Groot, and then I'm also thinking of Star Lord because he's because like his dad. You're uh, so wrong. B uh, plants all that shit. No. Poison Ivy? That's a that's a bad guy. Like no. Who is it? Superman. Like he's a fucking plant. That's he like gets his powers from the sun. Oh, that's stupid. Like a plant. No, it's not. That was great. Shout out to the guy. It's already down there who got that. Yeah, it was that one. I hate Superman. Anyway. Are you are you kidding me? Come I actually on. do. I, I know. Do I, I know. I get. I get that, and, and that's an okay opinion. But come on, that was a. That was a, how are you gonna get these? That was a softball. I thought that was easy. Okay. This is not gonna go well. I'm telling you this. <laughs> are you sure? It's not gonna go well. Probably. Um. Okay. Here. All right. Here. This is an easy one. Fucking nerd gets bit by a bug that makes him buff. Spider-Man. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> now you feel better? Yeah. One and one? I mean, that was... You should have made that the first one! <laughs> oh my god, Bucky gets his I actually, like I plant. actually was gonna cut that one, and I forgot the I gave plant-based superheroes. I said like a plant, not is a plant. Nah. Also, like, it's it's terrible description. So if they were a plant, you wouldn't use plant in the description. Okay. It's it's with all. I, I, mean, I, I bought the description for Spider. I was gonna delete this oh, one. I forgot to delete it. Right, okay. but I was gonna delete this one from the document, and I just forgot, so it's there. Okay. Uh, okay, here's one. Here's one of mine. I like this one. It's such a loser. He had to hang out with kids hundreds of years younger than him to be cool. Hundreds of years younger than. Oh, Thor. No. Uh. Him. Is, is the keyword oh, him? No, no. It's not. It's, so it's not a him. Oh, it's a him. Sorry. It's a him. Yeah. Okay. It's a guy. Hundreds of years. It's from DC. I'll help you. It's from oh, DC. Okay. 
DC, hundreds of years younger. This uh, is a character I know I've talked to you about, and you like, I, don't, I actually probably want to remember, because I, I talked to you about it, and you always forget who he is. That doesn't help at all. I just remembered that. I just remembered that. <laughs> <laughs> then I referenced Why would you toy with me? Um, I didn't do it intentionally. I just thought it was a really good, like, really good horrible explanation of a character. Oh my god. I, is it um, hundreds of years younger? Hey, your mic's Martian? on the table, by the way. Martian? No. Damn it. Uh, I don't know DC as well. Uh, thinking, thinking towards. Oh man, there's a few DCs on here. Sorry, dude. Uh, hero or villain? Hero. They're all heroes. Damn heroes. it. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, out of curiosity, what are you gonna guess? I I was gonna uh, I was gonna guess the the bad guy from uh, uh, from Wonder Woman. Uh, oh no. Shit. Yeah, that dude. Hundreds of years. Yeah. Shazam. No, that's a good idea though. That's I once I said that out loud, I actually thought that it was too close, but it's not just him. Damn. You're the guy with the like the, no, the helmet. No, no. Uh, it's not him. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, the golden helmet. Yeah, Doctor Fate. Yeah. Uh, yes, Fate. Uh, shit. He's I like probably won't tier. get him. Okay, you're, I don't know you're giving up. As well. Yeah. It's Booster Gold. Shit! I should have gotten that. <laughs> I sh I always I, you're right, always I always forget about Booster Gold. Because <laughs> everyone forgets. That's the point of the character. Hundreds of years younger. I'm thinking like past, not future. Yeah, he oh, came yeah. back to the God. past because they're hundreds. Because he's uh. that's the only place to be cool. God. I'm actually surprised you didn't put Impulse. Also, I'm just surprised you didn't guess that one. I, it didn't really sound like right, it. Right, because you weren't going to the future idea. That's, yeah, no, no. And, you I mean, yeah, the future yeah. cool thing too, but yeah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Told you this is gonna be, go bad. He's really good. I like this. <laughs> um, don't throw him in a recycling bin, man. What? <laughs> don't throw him. His, his so name is it's Tin Man, so I'm guessing Iron Man. No. So his his name. Th this is another one I came up with. Uh, it, it, if you were to, like, this is basically his new name now. Like ter terrible name. Don't throw him in a garbage can, man. Or just sorry. Don't throw him in a recycling bin, man. Can you give me the like, DC? Stop going with the DC heroes, sorry, dude. I don't sorry, want the DC but, heroes. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll give you a hint. He's on one of the TV shows. So Adam? No. Uh, Adam's the, Adam, oh, yeah, Adam's in, is an arrow. He's yeah. the fucking... He, he's I, know, the, I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, don't throw him in the recycling bin? Man. <laughs> don't forget the man part. So is it, uh, the elongated man? Close. The elastic man? Close. Rubber man? No. His name's not Rubber Man. You, you got it, but uh, it's not Rubber Man. It, Cause uh, my original joke was he's a living condom, and then I realized his name is a, is a rubber man. Uh, latex man. No. Uh, <laughs> no. What, what? What don't you? What don't you throw in recycling? Uh, you don't. You oh, don't. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. You do throw in recycling. It's plastic. <laughs> I wrote it down wrong. <laughs> you did throw in recycling. It's plastic. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to get them if you give me the wrong hints? This is a great pilot. This is a great pilot. I gave you- that was only the one time I gave you the wrong hint. It, they're all the same person I kept naming. Here's a Marvel one. You got this one, man. Fuck, it believes it's cool to wear sunglasses indoors. Iron Man. No. Captain America. No. Hawkeye. No. There's a key word in here. Believes it's cool to wear sunglasses inside. Oh, so, um, Fury? No. Fury's even a hero, technically. He's just there. He was a hero. I guess. In the comics, yeah. he is. Um, so, wear sunglasses. Come on, this is real, this is real easy. You're gonna, you're gonna hate yourself. I've named most of the people that wear sunglasses. Okay, you um, give up? No, I gotta think about this, man. You th Damn, this is a horrible game for me. This is showing how bad I am. I mean, you're this. also drinking a lot of wine. Shut up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so just regular Marvel Universe. Wear sunglasses. Uh, hero. I don't know. Cyclops. I need to leave. This is... <laughs> you can't go that way. Oh. Don't go that way. You're gonna fuck it up. Oh. <laughs> I knew you would hate yourself. Oh my god. That one makes sense though, right? Yeah. <laughs> I should have gotten that one. That's what I said. Oh my god. I am the worst. You literally work on the X-Men show. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> he hasn't been born yet. <laughs> yet. There's your little tidbit from the inside studios. This is this is why I say I'm a liaison, not not an expert. <laughs>
feel so stupid. <laughs> that that really was not the intention. So I thought you'd be nailing these, dude. <sighs> oh my god. Alright, ready? I knew I told you. Four, four more. Okay. Four more. Four. Four more. <laughs> Rotting testicle. Can't even remember his own origin story. <laughs> Deadpool. There you go. <laughs> That was a line. From, that's a line from the movie. Is it? Someone just put it. I, I actually don't remember the movie after we watch it. Yeah, no, it's basically. I was enjoying it way like too much to game. actually like remember. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's another one by me. This one's really stupid. This is a really bad joke again, just like the plastic man one. But this one's right. I've read it through it twice. This one's correct. Opposite of a veteran arrow. Opposite of a veteran arrow. Yeah. The opposite of a veteran would be. Would be someone that's in it. So what? What veteran? Yeah. Yeah. So, so like, they're actually so. Um, would that be? It wouldn't be. Not right. veteran is in the military status. Veteran is in the word veteran. It wouldn't be. Is it red? It's not red arrow. It's no. Uh, would is it? Um, fuck, I'm just. I'm forgetting. What it. is happening right now? I'm doing bad. <laughs> I think you're overthinking it. Veteran arrow. You were the, the arrow? The green arrow? Yes! Oh, you, yeah, I am over Because green means, like, you're new. That was, <laughs> that was so stupid. That was so stupid. <laughs> oh, my God. That was, you just overthinking. You went to red arrow before you went to green arrow. What is that? Because I, I was thinking... Uh, you were about like, to be like, Arsenal, I don't know. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking Arsenal the entire time. Because I didn't think you would go right to Green Arrow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, two more. Ready? Yeah. Man gets cucked out of his own body by his hat. Cucked out? Is, isn't that just who we were just talking about? Who? The, the knowing dude or... Yeah, the what's his name? Said? I even gave it to you. What's the, the fate? name? Fate. Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate. <laughs> The copy of just... I really wish you didn't ask me. I'm saying, I want to just be like, I don't know who you're talking about, but I can tell you were struggling, so I really just gave it to you. Yeah. Would you have thought of that one if you didn't? If I didn't yeah, I would have. Yeah. Like, would you, though? I'm a fan of Young Justice. I would have thought of it. Okay. Me. That was one of mine, too. I think it was a good description. Mm -hmm. One more. <clears throat> Alright. Now, you're going to want to concentrate for this one, okay? Remember, the, the prompt is describe your favorite superhero poorly. You got to remember that, okay? Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. Aquaman. Aquaman. Yeah, he did it! Woo! Great job. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, you just made me feel like an idiot. <laughs> did you have fun, Shane? No. Oh my god. Well, what about what about everything besides this part? Oh, I had a great time other than this part. This part just made me like I think lose all street cred. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the point. I thought you would nail this. <laughs> yeah. Pick the wrong side, man. Shane, look at the camera. Tell folks where they can find you. Uh, you can find me at at Sarge Dog or on Crafts N. The letter N. Crafts on YouTube. Uh, and Shane F. Dolan on Twitter, but I don't use that. Just follow me on Instagram. And Mike, where can they find you? Where you can find me, guys, you can find me here at youtube.com slash ye network, your entertainment network, yen. Uh, you can find links to all this stuff in the description below. You can follow me at the Mighty Mike on Twitter, at the Mighty Mike on Instagram, and uh, don't stalk me on Facebook. I've got enough of that as it is. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I had a great time. This is, I, I mean, it, it was it was a thing. It definitely was a thing. I also forgot to say, follow me on Twitch, uh, Sarge Dog. You okay. say that like we have the ability to stream here. I mean, I'll eventually be able to stream again, but not now. I need to see what my tagline was again, because I definitely didn't say it correctly in the beginning. I mean, I don't have a tagline, but... No, no, for the show. Ah. What, what is the show called? Mic Check. Mic Check? That's a good name. I like that name. You previewed the, the opening animation. <laughs> I sent you four different, like, four or five different ones with different music. It was the same intro, but just different music. Let Mike know if, uh, if you want me to be back on. Just to I mean, you probably will, just because like, you'll probably be the default guest as my roommate when I can't actually get a guest. <laughs> I like this. I, I like talking. It's fun. <laughs> I need this thing to open so badly. It's converting. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for checking out Mike Check. We'll be back, hopefully, in a week. God, I, not we, but I'll at least be back in a week. I don't, I don't know about him. Guys, as always, this is Mike Check. I'm Mike Knowles. And keep the conversation alive. Bye. I want to hear something real embarrassing. Oh, is that what you did? Was that you? Were you that guy? <laughs> the first time I went to Sammy, oh, I started no. doing like...
I started doing like dance moves from GTA. No! <laughs> here, here. Oh, I'm coming. Two hits, two hits. Oh, someone else in the field shooting at me. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's right here on the right. I got him. 